guess what? The universe can get actual scars, just like when you fall off a bike. Well, here's why. Before the Big Bang, the universe was extremely hot, dense, and full of energy. And it seemed like everything was going well. Until that all changed about 13.8 billion years ago. Then the universe exploded. After the blast, it expanded incredibly quickly. Our human brain can't even perceive how fast that expansion was. Sometime later, the universe started cooling down. As it did, giant, terrifying scars cutting through space-time appeared all over the place. And if we study these scars well, we can even get insight into time travel. These days, we call these scars cosmic strings. They're like stretch marks that appear when the skin expands too quickly. Or we could also compare them to cracks that form in the ice when it freezes. These strings are likely very thin, about the size of a proton, a positively charged subatomic particle. Yes, subatomic means smaller than an atom. The strings are also extremely dense and can stretch for light years. Now, imagine these cosmic scars floating through space, not interacting much with their surroundings. When two cosmic strings pass each other, they could warp space-time in such a way that it creates a time machine. If you were to travel along a certain path around these strings, you would end up returning to your starting point at an earlier time, which is traveling back in time. Now, let's admit it, this idea sounds like something from science fiction. But it's supported by cosmic string theory, and the math behind it seems to work. Unfortunately, no one has observed cosmic strings yet. So for now, it's still a theory. In 1991, one physicist proposed an idea for how cosmic strings could enable time travel. If two infinite cosmic strings passed each other in parallel, they would warp space-time, creating a time loop. This loop would allow someone to travel back in time. Even better, this idea doesn't contradict Einstein's theory of general relativity, which suggests that large objects can bend space and time. These bends in space-time could allow a shortcut through time. His now well-known concept of closed time loops also helps explain how wormholes might work. So a wormhole is basically a theoretical tunnel connecting one place in space to another. Some people believe that by using such tunnels, we could create shortcuts for incredibly long journeys through the universe, which would allow us to visit other star systems and galaxies. So let's say you manage to create a wormhole and even accelerate one of its ends to near the speed of light, and then you send it back to where it came from. Well, at that moment, those two ends are not synced anymore. One is in the past, while the other is in the future. And if you somehow managed to walk between them, you'd be time-traveling. You could do something similar by placing one end of the wormhole near a powerful gravitational field, like a black hole, and keeping the other side near a weaker gravitational force. This way, according to the theory of relativity, time would pass more slowly nearer to the strong gravity side. And it would allow a particle or another chunk of mass to remain in the past relative to the other side of the wormhole. At the same time, if you decided to create a wormhole, you'd have to keep in mind that they are super dangerous. They might collapse all of a sudden. They're likely to be highly radioactive, or you could come into contact with toxic exotic matter inside. But let's get back to the math behind the cosmic string time machine idea. Admittedly, it is solid. But it doesn't mean such a time machine is possible yet. To use this way of time travel, we'd need to reach near light speed. And it might be impossible. According to Einstein's relativity, the faster an object travels, the more energy it needs to continue speeding up. In other words, we don't yet have the technology or energy sources to accelerate a spacecraft to these speeds. The idea of two infinite cosmic strings is also questionable because we can't create something that's infinitely long. So while this time travel model is mathematically sound, the infinite nature of the strings would make this exact model impractical. At the same time, some scientists still believe that cosmic strings are a better possibility than most other models, like wormholes. In any case, before we can start considering time travel, we need to discover cosmic strings. 
Luckily, there's a group of astronomers working to detect low-frequency gravitational waves by measuring signals from a type of star called a pulsar. Now, pulsars send out regular pulses of radio waves, and by measuring small changes in the timing of these pulses, scientists can detect subtle shifts in space-time. Those changes are caused by gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time. Now, so far, we've only detected gravitational waves coming from black holes. But in 2020, there was one strange signal that didn't look like it came from black holes. It could be coming from cosmic strings. And here, we need to mention string theory. According to it, the universe is made up of more than just the four dimensions of space-time. There are additional dimensions that are hidden from us. Plus, the basic building blocks of the universe aren't particles but tiny vibrating strings. These strings can vibrate at different frequencies to create different fundamental particles. These strings, from string theory, could have stretched out during the early universe and become the very cosmic strings we've discussed. In the coming years, we might get more information about them from a space-based gravitational wave telescope called LISA. It's supposed to launch in 2035. But if the signals picked up in 2020 really came from cosmic strings, it could mean a huge breakthrough in physics. In this case, string theory would become the right framework for understanding the universe. It would completely change the way we think about the building blocks of our reality. On the other hand, even if the signals don't turn out to be from cosmic strings, this discovery would still be important it would give scientists more information on what cosmic string signals might look like in the future. And while we're not yet at the point of time travel, the discovery of cosmic strings could take us one step closer to understanding the mysteries of the universe and maybe even the possibility of traveling through time. Now, Time travel is a popular theme in science fiction. But in fact, moving forward in time happens naturally. Right now, you are traveling into the future at a steady rate of one second per second. However, scientists have discovered that this rate can change depending on speed and gravity. Einstein's special theory of relativity explains that time slows down as an object moves faster. The closer you get to the speed of light, the more slowly time passes for you compared to someone who isn't moving at all. The general theory of relativity adds another factor gravity. The stronger the gravitational pull, the more slowly time moves. Near-massive objects, such as the surface of a neutron star, black hole, or even Earth, time runs more slowly than it does far away from these space objects. If someone were to stay near the edge of a black hole, where gravity is incredibly strong, only a few hours might pass for them, while thousands of years would go by for people on Earth. If they returned, they would have effectively traveled into the future. This is a real and scientifically proven effect. A real-life example of time travel, though on a tiny scale, can be witnessed in space missions. For example, this cosmonaut spent a total of 748 days aboard the space station Mir during three separate missions. Because Mir was moving at high speeds relative to Earth, it experienced time dilation. As a result, he aged two hundredths of a second less than had he stayed on the ground. Now, this difference may seem tiny, but it shows that time moves differently depending on speed and location. But while traveling to the future is scientifically possible, traveling to the past is much more complicated and controversial and leads to logical paradoxes. Imagine you throw a billiard ball into a time machine. It travels to the past and collides with its earlier self. This prevents the ball from ever entering the time machine in the first place. A contradiction. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.